Hi everyone, I'm Ron Rookie and today we're going to be looking at a game called Roguelike. Uh, this is a game that I was just uh, surfing around at itch.io and I uh, came to notice that we have not been doing platformers that play similarly to uh, Spelunky lately, so I thought, okay, why not showcase this one as this game hasn't gotten a lot of attention, so uh, let's just uh, check it out and see how it plays out. But, before I begin, everyone, if you're new to this channel, a like, comment, and subscribe really helps a lot. Make sure you hit that bell icon, and to any game developers out there who want their games shown on YouTube, give a shout out to me on X, and I'll gladly showcase your game every Saturday and Sunday, whenever possible. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're moving right to the title screen, which is cool. Cool. Okay, so we got it. we're shooting with via arrows. All right. Ah, oh, nice lighting. Okay, so. Oh. Okay. how it plays out. Okay. Seems simple enough. Okay, that was a spike, I didn't know that. Okay, so I guess this is the part where we can buy more items. Okay, so I guess now we just go on. Yeah. Hmm. Wonder what that collectible is. There doesn't seem to be any items that we can buy cheap. All of them are pretty expensive. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, so you can also move while shooting. Which is cool. Pretty useful. You can just hold it like a torch. Okay, this is pretty handy. You just hold it like this so that... But then it does lose its brightness over time. Which is also the park. Alright, not bad. How do you clear the level? Alright, so we're on level 2 now. Okay, cool. Okay, how do you progress now? Oh, okay. Gotta go this way. Nice! that, you know, the health item only gets replenished if, you know, your health isn't full. Alright. I gotta wonder what's the point of the lantern since... Oh, so those sticks are the bows. Okay, so now we got a flying guy. Eh, no problem. I guess the fact that he's a skeleton makes it easier to kill it. Okay, so now we're on level three. Ah. Dang it, this is the highest we've been so far. Oh. Okay. Cool. Ah! Die. Okay. This is pretty impressive. So we got 23 gold. Yeah, why not? Let's buy this. Nah. Yeah, let's buy. Go. So we got five arrows now. Pretty nice. I like the aesthetic. And I also like that your arrows serve as both 
light as well as a weapon. It's an interesting game. And the challenge is mainly focused on trying to conserve your resources, which is your boat, as much as you can. Which is cool. I like it. And being that it's a roguelike, where levels are always diff uh, randomly generated, does offer a bit of variety. killed me there. Okay, let's just try it off again. Ah. Yeah. I wonder if your coins would reset. Hmm. That would be interesting, because if they do, then it adds even more challenge, because you're supposed to get as many coins as you can. I like how 
The game forces you to be careful with your arrows. I like its unique uh, element of focusing in the dark. You know, a lot of platformers, they tend to have areas that... Um, they tend to have levels that are focused around the dark, and... Oh, crap. Darn. Yeah. Okay, I could get a bronze quiver. Or an oil tip. Hmm. Or I could get health. Pretty expensive. Okay, you know what? Let me get that uh, oil tip. And, uh, yeah. I like how it highlights that these are the items you could buy, which is cool. And we'll get more health. Why not? Okay, so now we got five health, which is nice. Music seems a bit off. Not sure about that. Could have sounded a bit more spooky. I can't go there. Maybe. Yeah. Ah.
Okay. So now we're on level two. Lanterns don't seem to be doing a whole lot. Because, yeah, they do light up a certain area that's fixed, but from that, they don't seem to be doing a whole lot. Alright, level 3. Hopefully we can go past this. Close. Alright, I don't think I can get there yet, so... There's an item that allows you to reuse a bow that you can touch from after you shoot it. Okay. Truck zone, where do I? Oh, okay. Cool. Three more bows left. Three more arrows, I mean. Sorry. I like how the game gives you a choice that you could either shoot a lantern and get a coin or just save your arrows. The game at times forces you to only touch at the tip of the edge there to avoid getting hit by the spike. But at the very least, the game should have offered you a double jump. Yeah. 
Okay, so I guess now we're in level four. Right? Yeah. use a bit of health now. Hopefully there's a, some around here. Yep. Fine. I wasted it on those lanterns. Oh, well, at least I got those. Ah! Time. Okay, so I got 73 gold. Let's see, what could we buy? Okay, so these are the items that I could buy. Get um, hmm. all right, let's go with uh, this one. What's the difference between this one and this one? Okay, so you do get a double jump. All right, you gotta spend a lot around 45. Ugh, that's a lot. Uh, hey, you know what? I'll just go with a silver quiver. Just uh, right there. So, yeah, I'll try showing more on the no commentary run. So what do I think of roguelike? I think it's a very interesting rogue platformer. Uh, I like the theme that it's about using your arrows in the dark so that, you know, you could get the light. And at the same time, you got to preserve your arrows so that, you know, you could manage the light. I mean, you can manage solving levels without the light as much as possible it the game does kind of like uh you know make you aware that you just can't use your arrows as free as you want um uh, not sure about the music it's okay and um uh, the coin thing and such yeah you know I'm pretty sure that as you find, as you get more coins and such, maybe the difficulty sort of yeah, gets toned down. But the uh, later items do seem a bit expensive, and uh, that could be a problem 
if you're just wanting to, you know, complete the game. But, if you're interested in uh, roguelike uh, games, uh, no pun intended, then roguelite would be an interesting uh, platformer for you to check out. It won't be as good as Spelunky, but it does its own thing, and uh, I like it for what it does uh, do. Well, that is it with this one. If you like what you've seen, please give a like, comment, and subscribe. And in the meanwhile, thank you for watching Gaming Rocky. Have a good one.